Folks, we're back by popular demand. We've had a lot of requests for a teapot review. We're gonna do a teapot and a coffee pot right here on my take on Home and Garden. Okay guys, now one of our collections we didn't really set out to to collect but you know you see cute things and you start picking them up we're big on chocolate pots or cocoa pots and we're gonna do a video on that as well there's not time today in in this one maybe next week but I'm, I am gonna do it because I know a lot of you have been asking and you love it today we're doing teapots and I'm gonna start out by somewhat of a category this little gem with the fruit real light in the pastels and the brass handle typical teapot made in Thailand that was a little yard sale find Okay, our next one, you might have even seen this one. I'm seeing this more and more. Now, it's funny, you go through, a, you know, phases of things that you'll see and then you won't see them. But this is a teapot made in China for Telefloral. So, if you got a, probably a floral bouquet in this and probably the lid was on the side pack I just love this and our wonderful niece gave us this with the hummingbird now this little gem is in oranges and orange blossoms too cute folks <laughs> made in China again this came with a whole set of tea bags in there when you buy it. So it's been a while. We're not going to use the tea, but they are cute. And some of them, the, the foil pouch matches the teapot. Okay, so we're still made in China. This is on a little bigger scale, and of course this is going to cost a little more too. I love this. Raspberries, I think Angela got this for me for a birthday or something. Typical teapot. They're low and squatty, okay, and the neck starts at the bottom and is short. That tells you what it is. Now we're still made in China. This is the newest little cutie that we picked up here recently. And it's so I could do a nice Easter table, the small table with it, with some of the things that we have. Just beautiful. And you know how we're used to with China, very, very reasonable. Look at that. Too cute. Alrighty now. Now more on a sentimental note. <laughs> this is made in Japan. And it has a music box underneath. It is a usable teapot. It even has the strainer in the neck. And when you lift this, if it's wound like you heard, it's playing that old, old classic. It's way before me. Yes, believe it or not. <laughs> My mother had the same exact teapot when I was little. And when we lost her, 
you know, one of the other darlings uh, got that. So, luckily, you know, as law of attraction works, we talk about it. Some of our friends right here, I, I swear by it, it really works. I wanted that because it was hers, and I think I found it in a, within a year. I'm not kidding. Within a year, I found the exact teapot that played T for two. I can't listen to it too long because of what it does to me. <laughs> Thinking of her. So anyway, now I'm still in Japan. Okay. This is in your yellow roses with gold trim. It's such a neat mid-century modern design to me. Um, I put this in the 50s or 60s, this one, and we love it. We don't have anything that matches any of these, but I'm going to show you a couple that we do have things that match, and even one that we have the whole set. Now we're dipping into the English stuff. This is Old British Castles by Johnson Brothers. You, most of you know that pattern. And we do have things that go with it, so because they're so pretty, I wanted to show them together. Again, low and squatty. Spout comes off the bottom and it's short. So even from quite a distance away, you know this is a teapot. Look at this, look at the shape and the style. It's just unbelievable. Just fabulous. Now in this Johnson Brothers set, there is a coffee pot. Maybe Angela will pull it up. She, she's good at it. And we'll get to see it in the video. The coffee pot, which I have one example, is slender and tall. The spout is two or three times the length of the teapot spout. That's how you can tell them apart. So here's Old British Castle teapot with the creamer and the sugar. Now some sets have an open sugar bowl. If it's open, it should have a straight lip and obvious that it didn't come with a lid. Not the case here, so if you just see this, you know the lid's missing. And they would probably want more if it had the lid. <laughs> I have a real soft spot for that set. <laughs> Wanted it my whole life. We've only had it a year now. And it took hours and hours of getting pieces one after another and multiple, you know, plates and coffee cups and saucers to get even what we have. And the platters uh, we still don't have it a hundred percent, but some of them, you know, I don't worry about that either. Some I do, and right now because of the cost, I don't worry about it. Now here's a unique example. We're going to step out into a little different world here, which most of you ladies know. This is a child set. This is scaled down for a child. And I do have something with it, so I wanted to show it as well. This is made in Austria. Okay. It's a teapot. Look at the tiny little thing. It actually could work and be used for the little tea set. This would have been, you know, belonged to 
some quite fortunate kid that would have had this set. And the only other piece, someday I'm dying for the sugar bowl for this. And someday this will be our daughter's. But here's the little creamer. And how cute that it came with an underplate. Now I have a Bavarian example of a child's coffee pot. You see the difference now. The coffee pot is tall, even in this little scale. This is in that particular finish. I'm going to think of it in a second. It's Bavarian. And look at the Look at the color, look at the pattern. This finish is called luster, so it's in that category of, of luster wear. I don't call this luster wear because it's Bavarian. Now, believe it or not, last but not least, <laughs> the only coffee pot we have in this collection because like I say, our, our passion is with the cocoa pots and we have a lot of them. You guys know you've seen some of them, so we'll get into that. But here, now look at this. If I asked you to guess and took a minute and let you think, who made this coffee pot? See, people would be quick to call this a teapot. It's not, it's a coffee pot. Again, it's tall and upright. Look at the spout. The spout is tall. These are obviously all low, squatty with the short spout. So this coffee pot, it sure looks English to me. Could be Austrian. No, it's Bavarian. And it's called Chateau Rose. Just spectacular. Now, like I knew I was gonna forget the maker, okay, Edelstein. There's so many names. Edelstein, being Bavarian with no flea bites, cracks, or crazing. We've had this a long time too. I, just to give you an idea, I would put this probably around a hundred dollars, easy. The little. Ones from China can go from 12 and up. This is more of a $30, $35 teapot from China, maybe more now. But when you get into the big supersets like Johnson Brothers, these get real, real pricey. Now another fun, quick thought. I would have had a second coffee pot to show you, but I just found it for our spoiled girl, Angela, her favorite set on earth, the friendly village with the winter scenes in the barn and so on by Johnson Brothers and in the brown, okay? I just got that coffee pot on an auction. You can find it on eBay right now, I'm pretty sure. Take it home for $140, okay? I just got ours on auction. Stayed up late, late, waiting for it to end. $65. But you gotta, <laughs> you gotta put the time in. Okay, folks, then last but not least, our glorious teapot by Mark Roberts. You've probably seen this in a video. It was in our Mother's Day video. Another prize of Angela. Spoiled, spoiled girl. <laughs> it's a dandy. Very ornate. Pineapple finial on top. And it's heavy like a stoneware. And of course it has to sport this metal base and handle. These start getting up there to collect. 
You can look them up. Probably why we only have one. <laughs> Hard to beat, though. They got some good ones. And hope you loved our video today. It's a sweet one. It makes you think of home. It makes you think of being warm. It makes you think of Grandma's house. Take care, guys. Thanks for coming by. And we'll see you in our next exciting, over-the-top collection video. Coming up, probably next week. Bavarian, Austrian, Japanese, Cocoa Pot Collection to beat the band. Take care now, and we'll see you right here on my take on Home and Garden.